So we will uh, demonstrate one of the most uh, common ways to tie masks. And again, this is to improve fit. There are multiple uh, videos of this on YouTube. This is probably one of the more simple ways. And again, this is for a surgical mask. So the first thing to do is obviously do good hand hygiene to make sure that your hands are clean. And the easiest way to do it is to, to just pick it up before you place it on your face. When using a uh, surgical or hospital face mask, the easiest way to do it, and there are several videos out there as well, uh, but the easiest way to do it is start by folding it in half like a hot dog bun. The next thing to do is to tie loops uh, into knots. You want to get the knots as close to the face mask as possible, but please understand that just depending on the uh, dimensions of your face or the size of your face, you may have to find an adjustment for exactly where the knots go. So the first thing to do is with two finger breaths, seems to be easiest, tie it into a knot and just work it down towards the edges of the mask, as you can see that. Next, turn it over and do the other side as well. Again, two finger breaths, tied around creating a knot. and get it as close as you can. But again, this may be a variable length depending on the dimensions of your face. Next is to try and form the mask to your face. And this is done by using the metal band and forming it to the bridge of your nose as well as pulling it under your chin. We remember that the mask needs to be above the nose and below the chin. Once that is done, you can then work to try and fold in the other open aspects of the mass on the sides of the mass. And this will help reduce further uh, gaps in the mask and your face. At that point in time, you put the mask over your face and you're ready to go. Again, this is all to improve the fit to improve uh, any open air exchange. Uh, if you are expressing the disease or, or the droplets out into the community, or if you are inhaling as well, this will help.